Hi everyone, my name is Anton Hetzkelovich and I'm the founder of thethingsus.com, a case interview preparation platform that helps you prepare for your interviews at MBB and other consulting firms. We have guided over 1,000 students who received offers across the globe from United Kingdom, Saudi Arabia, United States, France, Canada and many other places. I've made the transition from my legal background to a role at management consulting at BCG and then eventually ventured into the world of digital entrepreneurship. And I'm thrilled to share my experiences and life hacks with all of you. In today's video, alongside with my partner, we will deep dive into an Oliver Wyman market sizing exercise. It's going to be a genuine masterclass, so I suggest you watch this until the very end of this video. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our Facebook group and sign up for it. It's going to be a vibrant community. Also, if you are gearing up for the upcoming interviews, I suggest you visit our website, thethingsys.com, and take our free foundation course. If you want a more personalized approach, then you can reach out to me via WhatsApp and schedule a personalized coaching session. Now let's deep dive into the case. Hi Olga. Hello Anton. So today we're gonna have uh, an interesting uh, market sizing from Oliver mm -hmm. Weiman. So I would like you to calculate the number of planes in the sky at this particular moment. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, and should I make the calculations for some particular country or globally around the world? No, we, we need to calculate the number of planes globally uh, in the world. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So I would ask you for some time to think how to approach this problem. Yes, sure. So I'm going to present you my approach uh, mm -hmm. to counting. Uh, going to verify it with you and then uh, make uh, several assumptions about the numbers we could use. Sure, that sounds like a reasonable approach. Okay, so um, I guess uh, to count the number of planes in the sky right now, mm -hmm. um, we should look uh, deeper into two factors. Okay. So the first one is um, the number of departures per hour, mm -hmm. per each hour. Uh, and uh, the second is the number of uh, hours which a usual flight takes to so okay. the average hours and we should multiply these numbers okay uh, going deeper into the number of departures per hour mm -hmm. uh, here I guess uh, it would be easier to look into the number of uh, departures per year mm -hmm. and divide it by 365 and uh, by 24 uh, hours during the day okay uh, going deeper into the number of uh, departures per year, mm -hmm. uh, I guess uh, we should um, count the number of passengers mm -hmm. uh, who use the planes per year okay. uh, and uh, the uh, multiplied by the capacity of, um, of a plane, so how many passengers can um, uh, be on the flight at the moment. Okay. Uh, Okay, so uh, we should also uh, think about calculating the number of passengers per year mm -hmm. to how we can do it. Uh, I guess we can multiply the population uh, by the share of those who use the planes as a vehicle mm -hmm. uh, and uh, multiply it also by, by the number of flights uh, they usually take per year. Okay. Because we're basically counting uh, for a year. Okay, makes sense. Um, and considering the number of passengers in the plane, so the mm -hmm. capacity of the plane, um, I guess we can take um, the uh, average number of rows, um, mm -hmm. the average number of seats in a row, uh, okay. multiply them, and should also add the you know, fuel rate, so the load factor, okay. um, because the plane like is not full. Uh, it's not always it, full. Yeah, it's not always full. Okay. So, are you okay with my approach? Yes, I'm okay with your approach. So now let's dive in uh, and uh, basically make assumptions to arrive to the final number. Okay, perfect. Uh, so I would like to go uh, bottom up for mm -hmm. our calculations uh, and start counting the number of passengers per year who okay. use the planes as okay. a vehicle. So here uh, we've discussed that we should take the world's population mm -hmm. uh, and uh, as far as I know it's about 8 uh, billion people. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
so then we should multiply it by the shear of those who uh, fly, who use mm -hmm. the planes, uh, considering like the uh, distribution of wealth. Uh, I guess that would be not more than ten percent of the population who use planes. Makes sense. Okay. 10%. Mm -hmm. uh, and we also should multiply it by the number of uh, flights mm -hmm. that um, uh, each person can take per year. Mm -hmm. um, considering that, um, uh, from my point of view, like uh, from 30 to 40% uh, of these 10% who use planes uh, mm -hmm. overall uh, use that for business purposes. So mm -hmm. they fly. Um, like for example, several times a month. Okay. Um, so then we should go um, uh, further from that number, mm -hmm. and I can assume that it's uh, two flights per year. Okay. Yeah. If we do not take uh, two ways, this okay. business mm -hmm. purposes, it's um, the way uh, to the destination and back mm -hmm. home. Okay. So multiplying these numbers, um, eight billion multiplied by ten percent, uh, and by two. Mm -hmm. uh, we come to the number of um, 1.6. Okay, so we uh, arrived to the 1.6. Okay, yeah, 1.6 billion passengers per year. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, we should count the capacity of a plane. Mm -hmm. So um, about the average number of rows, I guess that would be about from like 30 to 40. Mm -hmm. I guess better is 30 because uh, for uh, short destinations, mm -hmm. the uh, air um, the airlines choose like smaller planes. Mm -hmm. So this would be 30 rows. Mm -hmm. uh, and also considering the size of the plane, that would be six uh, seats in a row. Okay. So that makes it 180 um, seats in an airplane. Okay. And we've also discussed that we want to use um, some kind of a fuel rate mm -hmm. because the plane is not full. Uh, so I guess the average would be 80% mm -hmm. if you are okay with that. Yeah, that uh, sounds reasonable. Okay, so we multiply uh, 180 by uh, 80%. Mm -hmm. And the number we get is... Um, uh, 144 okay. passengers in the plane. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, I guess we can move on and mm -hmm. um, go to the number, uh, count the number of departures per year because mm -hmm. we have uh, all the data for that. Mm -hmm. So we take the number of passengers per year, which is one and a six billion, mm -hmm. uh, and multiply it by the number of passengers in one plane, which is 145, uh, and we should divide it, yeah. Or yeah, or yeah. To know uh, yeah, yeah. the number of planes, we should divide it. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Let me do the calculations. So if we're not looking for a precise, for the exact number, uh, I guess that would be about 11 uh, million um, planes, which uh, depart every year. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, as we want to know it's, uh, this number per hour, mm -hmm. we should divide it by 365 and by 24. Mm -hmm. So I would ask you for some time to do the calculations as okay. well. So uh, I've counted the number of 1,250 departures per mm -hmm. hour um, uh, all over the world each hour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have the second line mm -hmm. uh, about the number of hours which a plane spends um, uh, on average. So mm -hmm. here I would approach it um, dividing the flight into you know, business trips and like, for example, holiday trips. As I, we've I basically think that you can just uh, assume just a typical number. Mm. A typical number. Yeah. Um, because like uh, the business trips and holiday trips, uh, they can, they can be to yeah, yes, different, uh, uh, different hours, yeah. different destinations. Um, okay, then um, I guess 
there are like about uh, 40 to 50 percent of uh, flights which are like from one to three hours like mm -hmm. short flights in one country or to okay. the um, country which is not far mm -hmm. uh, and there are those flights i guess that's about also 20 to 30 percent uh, on long destinations mm -hmm. like from uh, different continents mm -hmm. and we're coming to an average uh, between these two numbers so i guess it would be about uh, five hours that the plane spans in the air okay so uh okay so we take these five hours uh, and we should uh, multiply 1250 departures uh, per uh, hour mm -hmm. um, multiplied by five hours okay and we come to the final number of 6250 uh, planes which are in the sky right now that seems like a reasonable number thanks Perfect. a lot olga Thank you. Great case. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Olga has effectively leveraged Lidl's law and applied it to this tough market sizing exercise. If you want to master all types of cases that you might encounter during the interview, then I suggest that you visit our website thethinsys.com and choose our free foundation course. Also, if this video receives more than 1000 likes, then we will release the next episode. Also, remember that if you need a personalized coaching session, then you can reach out to me via WhatsApp.